XRP, we start with one hour chart. You wanna see how we can look for trade. First of all, before I start the analysis, I need to highlight that about the Telegram and Twitter, we have a group. I share all the links of the YouTube there. For those subscribers, they cannot get the notification from YouTube. They can join either tele Telegram or Twitter. And I try to share the any important information on the Telegram. And beside that, we have a playlist. Easily, they can find the updates from there. Okay. Now, we move to one hour chart. You want to see how we can look for chart. First of all, we have been looking for price to drop, and this is what we get. And as we can see, the price is reversing, but as a corrective move. Even we mentioned if the price reverses as a corrective move, we are not going to look for trade. Okay. Now, we start with higher time frame. We want to see what we have based on daily chart and what we have been discussing. First of all, we are within this correction. And we, as we mentioned, we can expect this one tend to a bigger consolidation since the price was within this move. Okay. Now we want to see how we can look at this. Whether we can expect the price to reverse or this one tend to a bigger correction and give us a price to drop. Mostly we're looking for buy. Okay. That's mean if you get any trade set up the opportunity for buy, we take the trade. And if we move to a uh, forward chart, we have been looking for price to drop and this is what we get. Can we expect this one turn to a deeper correction relative to this whole price to drop? That's why this is what we have been looking for. If this one turn to a deeper correction similar to what we have here, mostly any reversal from there, we can look for buy. But right now, based on forward chart, we don't have any trade set up. Even the price reverse, retest the previous stop as a corrective move, we cannot look for buy, okay? Based on forward chart, still we can expect this one to give us one more drop, okay? No, the best thing is we move to one hour chart, how we can look for trade. First of all, based on one hour chart, as I mentioned, the way the price is reversing is very corrective. And right now we don't have any trade set up either for buy or sell. How about if I move to 15 minutes? Can we consider this is the start of the up move? as a sharp move flag or correction, similar to what we get here. It depends on the traders, whether they want to look for buy or not, it depends on them. But for me, what I can see, we don't have any trade setup right now. And as we can see, we have a divergence, okay? We try to find the trade setups that then give us a continuation as a sharp move, not the corrective move, similar to what we get here. Because from here, we can look for sell from this correction. The only way to put our entry below this. This is what we mentioned in my last analysis. And even the price continue as a corrective, we are not going to look for buy. Okay, then what's the next? It's still, we can put this one as a correction relative to this. That's mean if we get any sharp move with the flag, we can consider to look for sell. And with the breakout of the previous low, we start to manage it. This is if we want to look for sell, we need to get this move. Okay, and even if we want to look for buy, either this one turn to a deeper correction, or we see the continuation as a flag, as a sharp move flag, then from there we can take the trade. Okay, that's mean from now, either the price continue as a sharp or drop, we are not going to take the trade. We have to get the trade set up. This is the things, this is what we're trying to do in this analysis. We're trying to find the trade setup for the next move. Okay, we are not going to buy or sell with any movement. And right now, in terms of the technical analysis, that's mean if we want to look into, uh, in terms of the analysis, we don't have any trade set up to look for buy or sell. And mostly when we see this kind of the move, still we can put this one as a correction relative to this. That's mean we can expect this one turn to deeper correction similar to what we have here for bigger correction for price to drop. I don't want to say the price is going to drop 400%. I want to see how we can look for trade, okay? Anyway, we don't have any trade setup, and even if the price move in any direction, we are not going to buy or sell unless we get the trade setup. In this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.